Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna play a tea detective game together. So what it is is that I'm gonna taste the tea without telling you what tea it is, and you will be guessing. I guess before the end of the video, you can comment anytime below. Uh, you will be guessing what type of tea it is. Um, I think the reason I want to do this video is because when I taste this tea with a fell, it was really confusing, and confusing I mean in terms of the look of the tea, the tasting profile, but uh, through some thinking and uh, analyzing, you can actually. Uh, figure out what this tea is. And I thought that was a really fun process. And this is not about uh, right or wrong or how good we are or how bad I am. Uh, it's just, I think it's a, a fun and uh, useful practice to get us, uh, like I always say, ignore the titles, the terms, and just focus on the tea itself. and. Uh, try to figure out what are the information we can get from tea tasting. So if you were up for the challenge, let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna smell the dry leaf without even warming. Nothing. It doesn't smell like anything. So I always like to um, rinse or say warm up the tea wares when I'm brewing. So as you can see, this tea is, based on the look, kind of I landed between green tea or white tea. First of all, pretty much it's not a black tea leaf. Oh, the warm the, uh, tea leaf smell a little bit like, <laughs> like a pickled veggie. I guess, I guess by pickle veggie, I mean I smell that uh, strong, savory or salty smell, like, like uh, sea salt. Yeah, yeah, I cannot think of any other kind of a tasting note. Really, really interesting. Try a brew. And, and also the leaf doesn't look like oolong to me. What do you think? And that's the reason I decided, when, upon looking at the leaves, I'm deciding how much leaf am I going to, uh, going to put in my gaiwan. And that's why I landed in the you know, green tea or white tea or possibly yellow tea realm. That is uh, three to five gram, a little bit less tea leaves with uh, gaiwan about 100 ml around 100, uh, 120 mil size. Still very faint, like the even warming up the uh, leaf, usually when we warm up the tea leaves, we can smell quite a lot of different notes, but this was minimal for me. Same with the guy one lid. So the infusion, the liquor color, oh wow, didn't notice this. A lot of the tea uh, trichrome in the liquor. A little bit to the yellow side, like the liquor has that uh, 
gold and uh, that golden tone, but a little bit to the yellow side, I think. Actually, this uh, liquor color is quite telling. The liquor actually, um, how should I say, it's a little bit has that white tea. This, this is quite tricky to describe because how off and how light it is. It has that white tea way of a presentation, which means it's gentle, it's light, but it's actually the body is there. The smell is minimal. to describe this. <laughs> mm. Like it definitely has its unique taste, a little bit minty, a slight gentle minty with a... When I breathe out through my nose, I have a, a plum, like a peach, peachy, but like I can, I feel like it's a little bit tart peach or tart plum. It smells like old style. <sighs> it smells like tea. <laughs> I was about to say it smells like old style. Like when I was a kid, you know, the grandparents would buy those very, and of course, uh, uh, 30, 40 years ago, they would buy those pretty. Uh, very cheap low end tea because we drink that every day like it's like those jasmine green tea at the very very end which we usually wouldn't drink that now but uh, at that time they would brew that over and over till they barely have any tea flavor and that's what that smells like just smell like minimal tea flavor but uh, when i taste it the body is there the The flavor has a little bit zucchini, a little bit vegetal. It has a hint of a vegetal. It's like if you cut the zucchini, freshly cut the zucchini and smell that cutting side, that's what reminds me of that kind of a vegetal. Hmm. This, this, uh, the brood of Eve. The smell of the brew leaf is really telling in terms of the, the rough origin. I think once I smell this, I know where, at least I know where this tea is from. Okay, let's try a second infusion. Yes, and the Gaiwan lead. The Gaiwan lead really has that, um, it's origin flavor, that unique flavor, you smell it. It reminds me of some other teas from that origin and um, it really gives me, maybe it's not even strong hand. <laughs> it actually reveals what this tea is. Um, Yeah, really, uh, that really deep stone fruit, uh, sweet and tart combination that I can actually smell both with that touch of the 
starchy, the cooked starchy、uh, smell. Hmm, not yet potato that dry without the not as sweet. Like it's between potato,、uh, like a boiled potato and boiled、uh, sweet potato. You know, sweet potatoes really give you that sweetness, which this is not as strong. Ah,、uh, that. It's very unique and very telling. Still, the liquor doesn't smell like anything at all. Second brew because it's a a little bit stronger, like a, a touch bit stronger. It really reminds me of <laughs> the very weird old shampooar, but still with the body of the liquor, like the texture is still there. Yeah, in terms of the flavor, it's really faint. I actually don't have much there. Hmm. <laughs> you can tell this is describing the flavor notes is really. I'm really not good, and this tea is really really light. So let's hear what Phil says about this tea. Okay. Okay. The lighting make you look even more serious. Get you really dark here. <laughs> Ew. What does it taste like? Ew. Sorry. Let me recap my whole experience here. First, I didn't smell the humid leaf in the guy one.、Mm -hmm. I smell the after brew leaf, and it's pretty not booming. And the whole tea is pretty confusing. The liquor color isn't really green tea. It isn't really white tea color, but it, the liquor color is leaning to white tea. The aroma of the first infusion leaf was more to the green tea aroma. What do I mean? I mean freshness, a little bit of that green aroma, just what you would expect.、Mm -hmm. The flavor of the liquor.、Mm -hmm. Really ambiguous. I don't. I find the tea a little bit lackluster. Infusion one, infusion two, even more.、Mm -hmm. Nothing defining. Nice, decent mouthfeel. Okay, decent feel to the liquor, like the not the flavor, the feel.、Mm -hmm. And I don't think I overly lightly infused it. And now we're on the third infusion,、mm -hmm. and I'm just as stumped as I was at the beginning. The aroma of the leaf、mm -hmm. has only diminished like dramatically from the first infusion to the second infusion to the third infusion. Can I try it? Yes.、It、still has a little green. It has something there. I also observe the leaf. Mm -hmm. It's mostly leaf. Maybe some buds have uncurled. I don't know. But the leaf size doesn't lead me to. White tea.、It、really leads me to green tea if I'm given those two choices. Which I wouldn't put it anywhere else anyway. Well, maybe yellow. If somebody didn't tell me green or white, I might have yellow in play too. Which still brings me back to my original 
thought that this is a green tea that's got a few years under its belt. Maybe a few years too many, that's my thought. Oh, and your question about what do I taste or what's the origin, that all makes me think it's Yunnanese. Not because I taste it predominantly, but because what else, where else are you going to ask about origin? Really? But I don't Why? smell the jungle. Well, I don't, I don't think, personally, I, personally, why would I think that you would ask me that question as a leading question is because I tend to pick up Yunnanese tea easier than other ones. So I know that about our relationship with tea and with your knowledge of me. And I don't tend to pick up other places. Like, I might pick up a Wudong, a Wudongese tea, which is not really the situation here. But uh, green tea origin, I really don't know if I would pick up in general, uh, other than a Yunnan tea, because it might have some jungle under it. This one's not jumping out as a certain origin for me, though. Stumped. I'm gonna organize my thought out loud. Upon first the leaves, I know it's not a dark tea, uh, it's not black tea or oolong that really narrows because of the leaf shapes and the color of it it really narrows to uh, white gray or yellow tea uh, the dry leaf smell didn't tell me much at all it's really faint then when i brew that for the first infusion that liquor color was really telling that it's an aged tea because I was mentioning that it was a little bit to the yellow side and it's not a yellow tea because the the color is not right the yellow tea yellow is that bright it has done some bright and vividness in it but this is more to the aged uh, tea so what I'm trying to say is when green tea or yellow tea when I get aged they also turn a little bit to the yellow side, but that kind of yellow is different than what we talk about yellow tea liquor. When I saw that liquor, I know it's an aged tea, which also explains the color and the lack of smell. When I drink it, uh, it was the profile doesn't have the white tea creamy, the little meadow like wild flowerness, and. This character is really persistent white tea despite it that, you know, one year or say five to ten years will still have those elements. Of course, by the liquor, uh, sorry, by the leaf, the look of the leaf is definitely not like a super aged tea. It's uh, several years old, but not overly old. Uh, so that kicks out white tea for me, leaving green or yellow tea and the brew leaf smell it was an instant reveal for me because it smelled like shampoo it has that uh, Yunnan that uh, unique uh, I, I like to call that plumness but if you drink a lot of shampoo and smell the brew leaf you would know what I mean that is unique shampoo smell it also happens in Yunnan green tea even with the black tea, you will still uh, the Yunnan black tea. You will still have those hint. And once I landed to Yunnan, I know this is a green tea. So this uh, Yunnan green tea features actually Hong Qing because this is a Hong Qing Lu Cha, a Hong Qing green tea. So usually that's one of the reason. If we have a Hong Qing, we recommend people to store it in the fridge, which uh, we're a well sealed and store in the fridge that maintain the tea for several years but this tea was uh, stored in room temperature so one of the reason it lost its aroma so the answer is this is a green tea from Yunnan province ah! well I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know if you guessed it right if there are any other evidence that you picked up and I didn't mention, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Until next time, keep sleeping.